Vienna, and from what I've seen from these two individuals, that answer is yes. This is going to be an intriguing match. The sand temperature at 50 degrees at Celsius, just below. Krasilnikov and Liamin for Russia, Dolhauser, Lucena for the United States of America. The United States of America in the white and blue and the red and blue shirts for the Russian players. Uh, Dolhauser, six feet nine or two meters five, biggest player on court. Good start for Russia, Krasilnikov with a good shot at the net there. Krasilnikov, he does such a great job on discipline, holding as a defender, digs that ball up, crushes it cross court. Confirmation that Lucena defense, Dolhauser block, Krasilnikov defense, and Liamin is the blocker for Russia. Here's Krasilnikov with service. That is a big serve. And 91 kilometers per hour. That's one of the fastest of the tournament so far. Over 55 miles per hour. And also the Russians make it count. This is a very fast three-point lead for Russia against the USA. Russia looking really hungry, going after every single ball. How about Krasilnikov in the backcourt? Just 26 years of age at 6'5". He is extremely fast. Oh, and another, an amazingly fast and powerful service from Krasilnikov, 94 kilometers per hour. That little kiss off the net through Lucena off his footing. 4-0. And finally, a point for the Americans. A 4-0 star for Russia. Really a fantastic start. You can't ask for much more. But now the United States, they need to score some points of their own to even things up. Yeah, Dalhauser serving Krasilnikov. Krasilnikov again, very fast. Float serve from Dalhauser at 58 kilometers per hour, but uh, Krasilnikov can do no wrong at the moment. Incredibly dynamic and efficient with his movement and shots. Krasilnikov and Liamit playing in their 10th FIVB Beach Volleyball World Tour Tournament. So every tournament they play in getting a little more experience. The center on the attack for the USA. Nice touch. Krasilnikov had a hand there. Question about his commitment, but... Side switch with seven points on the board. America keep their calm and cool in this early exchanges of the opening set. Good shot this time from Liamin, the uh, Russian blocker. Players going up high that time. Liam in six foot eight inches going up against Phil Dahlhauser at six foot nine. And the Russians off to a fantastic start. They're not flinching. And maybe, you know, they have in the back of their mind a couple of those losses when they played the United States previously. That's a trickler right there <laughs> over the net. It just hangs on top of the net. The sportsmanship. Saying, you know, I didn't mean to do it, but deep down, any player, they will take that. There's that double pump fist. He knows every point is crucial because the United States hasn't really gotten on track yet, so you got to get them while they're down. Well, and there's an indication that they're yet to find their rhythm, the Americans. And uh, Dalhauser there puts it right into the net after such a good serve receive. Frustration for Phil there. You can see from the look on his face. Just very uncharacteristic that Phil drops that elbow and goes into the net. Phil's the kind of player who's not going to give you a lot of free points, and the Russians will take it. 
You know, when you played a team two previous times, you lost both, you really study. You really do whatever it takes because you're just hoping to get that next chance. Yeah, look at those points on the board, uh, Dan. That's uh, away, okay? not a good yeah. start at all. Four very quick points, then one, and then another three quickly. Phil Dahlhauser says, my fault, nice set. We don't usually see much communication between the two, and we always mention it. They just know each other really well. Not a lot to say in those side changes, just trying to get some water, get a little break, and get back out there. But the Americans, they know right now they can't let this get out of hand, or this first set will be in the Russians' hands. Ninety-one kilometers per hour again on Kraslikov's serve. Dolhauser with a nice set, calming it down. Krasilnikov has it covered. Liam in puts it over. Good play from Russia. And Krasilnikov finishes it. Nine two. You got to give the Russians credit. They are everywhere on the court, and their strategy seems to be working. They've gone to both Nick and Phil and scored points both ways in a seven point lead to start off this quarter final. Watch this big serve from Krasilnikov, one of the fastest in the tournament. Oh, but he floats it this time, trying to catch the Americans at the back of their court. Good rainbow shot from Nick Lucena to pull a point back for the USA. Three to nine. Yeah, I was waiting for that really big rip of a serve by Krasilnikov. A back flipper almost makes it inbounds, but he dialed down his serve. Maybe he's trying to calibrate that arm. Dolhauser to serve. Good shot from Krasilnikov. He's had a fantastic start to this opening set. Well, it, it's as if the Russians are playing flawless right now. They haven't made any errors. Seeing the court so well and really executing. The ball's going exactly where they want it. Good spike from Nick Lucena. Important point on the board for the USA. Now this uh, Russian duo, Dane, they've had a pretty good season. They've won a couple of tournaments and uh, currently ranked first in the FIVB World Tour rankings for this season. 87 KCALs, 13 jumps, 81 KCALs. That uh, stat will grow as we record more data from the RTBS, that's the real-time body sensor. One of the innovations brought into the game at these 11th FIVB World Beach Volleyball Championships. Yeah, you'd have to say a really solid year in 2017 for the Russians. Right now, ranked first in FIVB World Ranking points, and that's a cumulative measure. But to be first is something special. 3,860 points, fifth in World Tour winnings on the year. And that's because of those couple of wins that they have already. So both these teams with two victories on the tour this year, two out of the last four for Team USA. Another 91 kilometer per hour. It's 55 miles per hour, the speed that he's putting on the ball with that jump serve. Chipping away here, the United States of America, 5 to 12. Look at the elevation right there. I love that camera. It shows you how high some of these players are actually elevating out of the sand. Something special to watch. Nicholas Center on the attack for the USA. Nice little touch over the top of the Russian blocker, Nikita Liamin. 6 12. This had to be executed just on the top of the fingertips 
of the blocker and he couldn't have put it in a better spot there, Nick Lucena. And uh, Dolhauser serving Liam in. Liam in on the attack for Russia. Dolhauser is there with the block. Vasilnikov goes over on two. Jeez, what an incredible defensive play by Krasilnikov. He's there again. Oh, what a spectacular finish as well. Krasilnikov is having a brilliant match here. Wow, is this guy for real right now? Krasilnikov. Looks like he's playing a video game out there. You can hit the ball as hard as you want at him, and he's just kind of laughing at it, putting it right in a perfect spot to be set. Russia really fired up here in this quarterfinal. I don't know that we've seen a team jump on another this quickly, especially this late in the tournament. Good play from Nick Lucena. Wow. Is that right into his body? Nick's, I mean, Nick is turning it up there. He's crushing the ball because obviously Grishilnikov in the backcourt, he doesn't flinch. He's trying to get that ball up, and if you don't put a ton of velocity on it, he's going to dig it easily. Liam in. Another successful play for the Russian duo here, 14 to 7. In control. 21 points total on the board. Technical timeout, 30 second break at the halfway point of this first set. And Dane, I'm sure you'll agree, the USA are in trouble in this first set here, struggling to find the answers, particularly to this uh, Kralish Krasilnikov service and defense, there he is on screen. Yeah, they're, they're in a world of trouble, and they need to get into a rhythm as we go in the virtual Red Bull Beach Arena, take a look at the Russians' serve placement. Right now, they're favoring Nick Lucena. They're going to the shorter of the two American players, trying to maybe run down his shots, but you know what, Nick's bringing it right now. He's absolutely crushing balls, but it's been Krasilnikov on defense, the big story here. Spectacular start to this opening set for Krasilnikov, the uh, Russian number two. Crowd get a little bit of a cool down. And uh, Nick Lucena out first for the Americans. The big man, Phil Dolhauser, just behind him. Trailing by seven points coming out of this technical timeout. And they need to rethink the tactic through here. They need to try and keep this man out of the play. Well, at that timeout, you heard Nick say, let's just try to get in rhythm. And at this point, you don't want to look at the scoreboard. You want to get into rhythm because focusing on the score is not going to do you any good. The United States just has to start playing better. And there's a little more smooth offense from Team USA. Phil Dahlhauser crushing that one down the middle. from Dolhauser. 9 to 14. Can they turn this around, Dave? I don't know if they have enough time to turn it around, but this match they can definitely turn around. This set may be lost because when you're playing a team of this high caliber, the Russians, and if they continue to play at this high level, it's going to be hard to stop. The United States with two. Big points in a row. Big Phil Dahlhauser doing what he does best as a blocker up at the net. And remember, we were at 14 to 7. So the United States on a bit of a tear here. And I'll still stick with it. A big challenge to come back and win this set. But that's why we play two out of three. Anything can happen. And you can see the United States starting to get in more of a rhythm. Dolhauser pushes that serve way too deep into the Russian court. 15 to 10. Five point advantage now for Krasilnikov and Liamin. Here's Liamin at the back of their court with uh, ready to serve. Nick Lucena 
A nice serve received now on the attack. Rhythm's coming, isn't it? They're starting to find their flow, they're fi starting to find a little more momentum here, the American players. And that's how you do it, you be aggressive. See Nick Lucena not really shooting the ball around too much. He's bringing that power game. Phil a little bit late to that one, cross court and out of bounds, but they're getting it to a more manageable score to try to come back. You can see the sweat coming off the bill of Phil's hat. Starting to get pretty toasty down there. And wow. When it rains, it pours, they say, Nick. And every single ball that could go possibly either direction has fallen in favor of the Russians. He can't even believe it. Look at Krishilnikov. I wish it was like this every time I stepped on the court is the look across his face. But you know, when you're aggressive, the luck goes your way. Yeah, that could be the turning point as well. 17-11, Krasilnikov again with this big, powerful jump serve. 96 kilometers per hour. 96, that's 60 miles per hour, the service speed on that ball from Krasilnikov. But the American duo do well to serve, receive, and pick off the point. Dolhauser with service. You know, the record for serving is a guy by the name of Kolodinsky from Russia served at 114 kilometers per hour. I know you probably have a translation for me on that, but that's up there. <laughs> Lightning quick. Here's quick nick up the net. Over the top, Kosilnikov covers lovely. Over on two from Leomin. 18 to 12 for Russia. Dolhauser and Nick Lucena are in trouble here in this men's quarterfinal. I haven't seen a team play this steady for quite some time. But everything really going the way, and it's just smart play. You see a 360 in the air just now by Leoman at the net. That's a hard play to make. Great balance by the big man. That ball's too long. Well, you gotta believe if you're gonna make a comeback in your Team USA, you gotta do it right now. Well, I'm not sure serving Krasilnikov is the way forwards either, Dane. I think they need to serve the blocker, Liamin, and try and keep Krasilnikov out of the game because he's done nothing wrong. And he's been all over the court. His confidence is at an all-time high. They need to try and stop him getting the ball. Watch this service. 188 on the KCAL. 24 jumps for Krasilnikov. You know, Krasilnikov kind of reminds me of the Netherlands Brower of Brower and Musin. You know how Brower always loves to hit the ball. Very aggressive. Kind of a very similar type game. Yeah, he's definitely come out of that mold and school, hasn't he? A little confusion from the two Russian players, but. Uh, Leomin finally gets the attack. Dolhauser makes them pay. 15-19. Just four off now, the USA. There's a good look at a soft block by Big Phil Dolhauser, and then Nick's able to set him. Really solid set by Nick, taking a chance to put it on top of the net, and Phil wins that battle. Dolhauser with service, deep to Krasilnikov. Krasilnikov on the attack for Russia, and that is a nice shot. Well, he's showing us, isn't he, that he's got a wide repertoire of shots to call upon. Doesn't have to hit it hard every time. That's pretty awesome to see his choice of shot or hit has been spot on here in set number one. Set point for Russia. Oh, and 
Dahl has a shank to serve receive. Just to add insult to injury. 21 to 15. Russia beat the USA in the first set. Pressure now on Dalhauser and Lucena. They have to win the second set to stay in the match. Always talk about getting in the groove even when you're down. This is not how you want to end the first set that was somewhat of a nightmare for the United States. From the get-go, they were in a deep hole and they couldn't even turn around the momentum. So they lose that one, 21 to 15, a decisive victory for the Russians as we look at the match statistics. Two to zero in blocks for Team USA, but look at aces, four to zero in favor of Russia and all of the broken plays. Remember, a lot of those aces were the tricklers as we look in the Red Bull virtual beach arena here. United States serve placement. Kind of down the middle, haven't targeted, but seems like Krishilnikov is getting a lot of the action, whether he's playing defense or not. Look at that beautiful aerial. The footprint of this World Championships is massive. 30,000 people here today. The arena holding, I'm told, 10 to 12,000. And then people having a great time out in that beach village as the KCALs increase from all the players. Good shots, important start for the United States of America. Now they need to change up a gear here, find a lot more momentum, not a little, to stop Russia running away with this uh, quarterfinal clash, two sets to zero. First point on the board for the USA, Lucena with service. Serving Krasilnikov. Krasilnikov now on the attack for Russia. Dolhauser is there with the block. Lucena with a good pickup. Can he finish it now? And the USA. Oh, that ball is out of play. No, it's good. Touches the line. That's that reverse pokey. We've seen a lot of people do that. We saw Alisson of Brazil. Look at Krasilnikov laying it out right here to keep the ball in play. And then here's Nick, there's the pokey reverse, and he hits just the outside of the line, the little fist pump. That's kind of the first positive body language that we've seen from the United States. That's a good play from Krasilnikov. He's having a spectacular match here. The guy's just locked in. He looks fantastic. Everywhere he goes, He's getting that ball to the spot. And if you're the United States, you gotta have that short memory. Really erase what happened in the first set. If you're Russia, build off it, try to do it again. Good dig from the center. But uh, Levin gets his first block of the match in. Ties the scores at two all. Really a solid block by Liam, and look at him line up. Nick, Nick tries to fool him and go down the line, but Lehman doesn't flinch. He holds his ground, and that ball ends up going right off of his right hand and straight down. Lehman it is with service for Russia. There's his partner, Vyacheslav Kraznikov. The center. Dolhauser on two, right to the corner of the court. Good play from the USA. 3-2. Really a smart shot to go over on two. And that's a high shot. Blocker not even close right there. The United States need to start making really smart plays like that last one if they're going to defeat this Russian team that is making all the right moves. Well left by Dolhauser. The work had all been done by his block. Here's the replay. Now it's to serve for the USA. Now with a break at 4-2. to two. They have to win the second set to take it to a tie-break third, having been beaten by the Russians 21-15 to 15 in the opener. Joust at the net. That looked to be a net infringement. Yeah, that's going to be a net violation on Russia. 
And there was a collision underneath the net. Oh, let's hope that Krishilnikov is not hurt like he was clutching his leg a little bit. Here's a good look. You can't fly in there like that if you're Krishilnikov. It's just too dangerous. You have to get your feet underneath, jump straight up rather than a broad jump vertically because that's when those injuries happen. And fortunately for Phil Dahlhauser, doesn't look like he got the bad end of it, but Krishilnikov looking a little gingerly as he walks around and taking some care. Looks like at the left leg that he is concerned about. Dalhousie with service for the USA. Three-point advantage now at five to two. That's out of play. Float serve at 58 kilometers per hour. 35 MPH. Now it looks looking carefully. Vasalnikov still not happy with that left leg. Save and up from Lucena over the top with the rainbow shot. Good play. 6 3 to America. Krishelnikov, good look at him getting that ball up in the air. Look at Nick the quick getting the ball, changing directions, converting to offense. And look how precise that shot has to be. Anything that is not in that perfect corner. It seems like Krishilnikov is getting his hand on it. And it's really great defense. Those can be frustrating right there. Phil Dahlhauser with a, looks like a stuff block, but you don't register a block in the books unless it ends the rally and hits the sand and results in a point. So Phil getting his hand on a lot, but the Russians, they are taking care of business in terms of covering. Good play from America. Meeting their toughest assignment of this tournament so far. America seeded three. And uh, the Russians seeded six. Russians hanging tough here. The United States trying to really enforce their will in the second set and get a lead so that they can push a third set. And the Russians have a little different idea. That ball was ripped. 95 kilometers per hour. Is that the highest we've seen? I mean, he's gone above 95, actually, Dad. He's gone up to 96, 97. I mean, he's hitting that ball so hard. Lucena with a nice float serve. And uh, Vyacheslav uh, Krasnidznikov can do no wrong. He's having a spectacular match so far. Keeps Russia in the mix here for this second set. Starting to wear the, the Americans down, I'd say, Dave. Well, here's the crazy thing. They keep going to Krishilnikov. It makes you wonder what can Leoman do that they are staying away from, and it's because he is a heavy hitter as well. It's just Krishilnikov having maybe one of his better matches for sure. He seems absolutely unstoppable. Balls out of play. Russia coming back at the US now. You can all see that point score. They were four clear at one point, three now, just two ahead. moves the crowd don't they in between each of the plays Lucena on the attack for the USA down the line covered by Krasilnikov Krasilnikov 
cross court. Dalhousie picks it, and he's got into the net. Krishnikov, a little wild going for those sets. It looks like he's a little frustrated and tired. Sand all over his jersey, but he went down pretty hard underneath the net. Here he comes again with that broad jump. He's ending up way too far on the side of the United States. That can really get someone hurt, and Phil hasn't been barking about it yet, but if I were blocking and a player were coming under like that, I'd let the referee know as soon as possible. Yeah, absolutely. It's a good point you make. Here's Liam with a big power play here. Cross-court spike. The center has no answer. Grashilnikov. Staying at the back of court. Levin will move right up to the net after his service. Krasilnikov covers nicely. Over on two. Wow. This is starting to look quite concerning for the USA. Nikita Lehman taking charge. Here's the dig by Krasilnikov. And Lehman just crushes it straight down. You know, I think at the top of the show, I said this Russian duo had finished in fourth place at the Olympics. They actually both were at the Olympics, but with different partners. Krasilnikov played with Semenov and got fourth place, whereas his current partner, now Lehman, played with Dmitry Barsuk and got fifth place. And then this team got together for the 2017 campaign and they've played 10 FIVB events together. Dolhauser serving Krasilnikov. Krasilnikov on the attack. And again, another super powerful play. Technical timeout, a total of 21 points on the board. 11-10 for the United States. Let's see if we can win this side, okay? That's our goal. Yeah. Gotta have many goals. He said, let's Nick, let's win too. that side. Keep him out of the middle. In the Red Bull Virtual Beach Arena, United States serve placement in set number two have all been going to Krishilnikov. They don't want any part of Lehman. And Krishilnikov having a spectacular match has been giving the United States all sorts of trouble. But both these players from Russia, they know what it takes, right? That Olympics experience, fifth and fourth place respectively. Phil Dahlhauser and Nick Lucena, they also took a fifth in the 2016 games. And of course, Big Phil, the gold medalist in 2008, taking his name from the Thin Beast to the Beijing Beast because of that performance in 2008 with Todd Rogers. Perhaps we've slightly underestimated the Russians. They have won two events, but they were three-star events in comparison to the events that uh, Phil and Nick have won. They won the major in Stad, Switzerland, and a three-star event uh, in uh, Moscow. But uh, they're no strangers to the business end of any international competition. And look at that for a block from Liamin. His second of this second set to tie the scores at 11 all. Things getting really tight for the Americans. Liamin is an absolute force up at the net, putting up a huge wall. You don't want to challenge that. That's what happens. Float serve from Krasilnikov. Dolhauser sets Lucena. Right to the baseline. Beautiful shot from Nick Lucena. Got to win the second set. The USA having lost the first 21 to 15 in no time at all to the Russians. The United States has definitely done a good job getting themselves more on track. And over on two is Lehman. And right now, it's becoming a concern for Phil Dahlhauser and his partner, Nick Lucena, reunited in 2015 to make a run for the Olympics. They began their tour together on the AVP tour, winning in 2005, and look at Krasilnikov, all over defensively. Oh, they just dodged one right there. 
Advantage was in Russia's hands with the dig. And then Big Phil blocking and Liam, and you don't see it often, but he goes into the net. So it was 12 years ago that this partnership won their first tournament, Phil and Nick. Then, of course, Phil went his separate ways. Nick went his separate ways, and Phil played so many years with Todd Rogers, having that pinnacle in the Olympics in 2008, reuniting. And they thought that they could get a medal in Rio, and they gave it their best. They just ran into eventual Olympic champions, Bruno and Alisson, in a round earlier than expected. Oh, six again on the speedometer of that service from Kishonikov. Good play though from America. Just looking a little quicker, a little sharper in the uh, second part of this second set. Good play from Dolhauser. Lucena serving, Krasilnikov on the serve receive. Russia take that point. And uh, Phil Dolhauser not very happy with the way that the Russian was playing the shot there with an open hand. Yeah, he wiped it right off the block of Phil. And if there was simultaneous contact from both players, it would be legal. If Krasilnikov got it first, it would be an open hand infraction. Liam in for Russia, serving Nick Lucena. Dolhauser sets his partner. Lucena looks to finish. Krasilnikov has his hands there. And now Russia put another point on the board. 15 14. This is a huge test now for the USA. And Russia is starting to believe that they could cause a real upset here. Good shot from Nick Lucena. 37-year-old from Florida. Davey, Florida, USA. Two ninety-five calories, four fifteen the calorie burn. The KCAL for Phil Dolhauser. He's working hard out there. The sun is back out. It was overcast this morning, but it's turned into a beautiful summer's evening here at the uh, Red Bull Beach Arena. We're going to get a challenge here by the United States. People all believe that this ball was out of bounds. Here's the shot. A big poke shot way to the corner. And that ball, it does look out. It was initially called in. Both teams get two challenges per set. This is the first challenge from the United States. And there's the call, affirming the challenge. So a smart challenge by Nick Lucena. You get two challenges. If you're unsuccessful, you lose them. If you're correct, you don't lose them. So the United States will keep both of their challenges. And take a much needed lead, Dane, at 16 to 15. Here's Dolhauser with service. This is a must win second set scenario for Team USA. And then they'll need to take the third tie break. And there is the service error from Dolhauser. Gives the point right back to Russia. 16 all. <laughs> Sixteen all. We know that Phil knows how to switch into that next gear here at the business end of the set. Can he make it happen? Oh, and that's out of play. Nick Lucena just putting a little too much cut on the ball. Scores are all tied. Six. No, my apologies. Seventeen sixteen now to Russia. Krasilnikov serves Dolhauser. Dolhauser on the attack. That is out of play as well. 
18-16 to Russia against the USA. They are on the ropes here, Dana. I hate to say it. They absolutely are, and this was similar when they played Australia, pushing them absolutely to the limit. 16-14, the United States ended up winning. This kind of has that feel to it as well, but the Russians, they took over early in this one. Really early from the opening whistle and have somewhat run away from the Americans and this is concerning. The number three seed, Phil Dahlhauser, 2008 Olympic gold medalist, and here. 2007 yeah, no. world champion, trying to create some magic with his partner, Nick Lucena, one more time and get to the semifinal. He's covered 1.48 kilometers on court, 65 jumps, burned 448 kcals. That's all from the sensor on the back of uh, Phil's shirt. So there's no question the commitment and the work rate has been huge. But this is the gentleman that has caused all the damage. The Sheslav Krasilnikov, with service for Russia, 18 to 16. Another hugely powerful and fast serve from the Russian. And they keep the ball up. Krasilnikov has got another point down, 1916, and Russia may well be on their way to the semi-finals here. That was a crucial point right there. Phil and Nick gave it their all, ripped the ball down the middle, but once again, Krasilnikov comes up with a crazy left-handed dig, and then he uses the block out of bounds, so a three-point lead here in the second. The United States really up against it. Here he is again, Krasilnikov with service, just 26 years of age. Good serve received from Dolhoza. Can he finish? Over the top of the block. Liamin unable to stop that one. That's a huge point back on the board for the USA. The pressure is on Dolhoza and the center. Nobody expected Russia to push them this hard, this quickly. Lucena, with service. Serves Krasilnikov, Krasilnikov now on the attack. Over the top of the block, Lucena cannot be there. It is match point for Russia. Russia has done everything right to put themselves in this position to advance to the semi-final. Just miraculous defense in the backcourt by Krasilnikov and great blocking at the net by Lehman. Nikita Lehman with service for Russia. Dolhauser on the attack. Lehman drops off the net, but his partner doesn't cover. First match point saved by the USA. And here's where it really gets interesting. The pressure mounts. Russia has had no problem receiving serve and putting the ball away. Now that they have match point, can they respond? Big Phil with the serve. It's all over. The United States of America are out of the World Championship. They're out of the tournament. Russia with Krasilnikov and Liamin have beaten Dolhauser and Lucena two sets to zero, 21-15, 21-18. They came to the court with such a furious pace and the Americans just couldn't catch up. That is a spectacular win, having been